Welcome back to Dan's on Fandoms. I'm Dan. The Rise of Skywalker novelization provides readers with several additional scenes not in the film, all of which I think are pretty great additions to the overall story. One additional scene the novel provides shows Kylo Ren encountering and speaking to a mysterious creature while the Supreme Leader is on Mustafar searching for the Sith Wayfinder, known merely as the Eye of Webbish Bog. But who exactly is the Eye of Webbish Bog, and why was Kylo Ren speaking to them? Following Kylo Ren's butchering of the Alizmech of Winsit, which were a group of Sith cultists that were protecting the Sith Wayfinder and Darth Vader's legacy from would-be intruders on Mustafar, Ren had pressed on deeper into the forested area of the planet known as the Core Vax Fen in search of the Dark Side Wayfinder. As grandson to Vader, Kylo Ren believed the Wayfinder that was formerly his grandfather's was his birthright and his to claim. Kylo Ren was seeking any knowledge, clue, or guidance that would lead him in the First Order to the voice behind the transmission that had been sent out across the galaxy, announcing that vengeance would be coming and the Sith along with it. Before Ren found the Sith Wayfinder, however, a creepy and odd being appeared before him, that creature being the Eye of Webbish Bog. The Eye of Webbish Bog was a spider-like being that was locked in a symbiosis with a bald and blind giant and lived within a lake near the Corvax Fen. When Kylo Ren encountered the strange being, he was able to sense the giant's pain, who appeared to be a slave to the spider like creature that clung to its head and body. Prior to Darth Vader's death, the Sith Lord had left his Wayfinder in a stone altar of sorts on a small island within a lake close to his castle. To protect it, Vader had decreed that the Eye of Webbish Bog would be responsible for the Sith Wayfinder's guardianship. They would have to protect it from those seeking the secret stored within the artifact, which of course was knowledge and information on how to traverse the dangerous path through the unknown regions that would lead to the hidden world of the Sith, Exegol. To protect the Sith Wayfinder, the Eye of Webbish Bog had utilized the Alizmech of Winset as a first line of defense against anyone seeking to obtain the Wayfinder. However, in accordance with Darth Vader's wishes, anyone who had defeated the Eye of Webbish Bog's protectors would have earned the right to the Sith Wayfinder, to Vader's Wayfinder. And since Ren had easily dispatched the Sith cultists that had possessed the Wayfinder, Kylo Ren had earned his right to claim the Sith artifact for himself. The Eye of Webbish Bog then showed Kylo Ren the island where the Sith Wayfinder lay hidden within the altar, and Ren claimed the spoils of his labors. Enamored by the etchings of the star charts on the Sith Wayfinder's glass, Ren found himself hypnotized by the object, not realizing that the Eye of Webbish Bog had returned from whence it came. Quickly coming to his senses, Kylo Ren returned to his TIE Whisper, set course for Exegol, and would soon find himself standing before the decrepit husk of a body that was the clone of Darth Sidious. Although the Eye of Webbish Bog didn't make it into the film version of The Rise of Skywalker, the scene depicted in the novelization was actually filmed with a practical build of the character being utilized in that scene. Ultimately, the scene was scrapped due to its length. However, creature and special makeup effects creative supervisor Neil Scanlon has stated that he's interested in revisiting the Eye of Webbish Bog's design for future Star Wars projects. Yo, sign me up for that. But what do you guys think? Did you know who the Eye of Webbish Bog is? And would you like to see them in a future Star Wars project? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.